It's gonna happen. I believe. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're bringing to you a Fireball Bait Royal Hog Rider deck with Flying Machine. In this deck, you're gonna have Fireball Bait with the Flying Machine and the Royal Hogs. You're gonna have great defensive utility with the Valkyrie and the Tombstone. And the main thing that you wanna do is stack a whole bunch of air units, mainly the Flying Machine and the Mega Minion, and counter push with Royal Hog Riders. Overall, this deck is exceptionally solid in the Grand Challenge and Ladder Meta because you're gonna have three spells and everyone is running some type of bait deck. You're gonna have Log, you're gonna have Giant Snowball, and you're gonna take Fireball. I can highly suggest this deck for Grand Challenges and Ladder. All right, guys, we got a game against Johnny Clash. We're gonna be saucing out the Tombstone, and he's gonna go in for a Golem. So we're gonna go in for Royal Hogs, we're gonna apply aggression opposite lane. Whenever you go for a Golem at the start of the game, I just lose respect for you instantaneously. I hope he tries to NATO that or something, that'd be really funny. All the traditional Hog Rider counters don't really work against Royal Hogs, so I really like that. It's like a Hog Rider deck, but actually you need completely different responses. So I'm going to go in for Mega Minion. Might also have to, yeah, I do have to log that. Otherwise the wizard, oh man, that log was beautiful. Guys, I knew that he was going to clone obviously, <laughs> but I needed to log that. Otherwise the wizard would actually kill the Mega Minion. So that's why I did that. I actually got really lucky hitting a cloned wizard. This guy is insane going for a clone wizard. After going in for a golem in the back, I guess I should have expected that. We're going to go in for a tombstone now. We're gonna see what Johnny Clash wants to do about that. All right, so you're gonna go in for a pump. I'm just gonna fireball it. I don't really want to take your tower that's kind of already knocked out, you know? When you go in for a golem, I'll take it out. But I really want to deny your elixir advantage and cycle back to a fireball because it looks like you're gonna have some type of fireball bait with this clone deck. I also really like how I cycled the tombstone early on. So now I can get back to another one. As I said before, I want to go take out his tower and see if he even tries to defend it. He probably won't. If he's a good player, he doesn't defend this. I am imposing a little bit of a threat on the through crown though, so that is decent for us. So here we go guys. I'm going to try to set up two tombstones here, and I want to get back to a Valkyrie. I don't know if I will be able to, but we're kiting everything man, this is wild. Do I need to fireball this? I think I do. I will be able to kill the wizard, and the skeletons end up finishing off the lumberjack. Let's go guys. This is working out super well for us. I'm not going to log that because I have to respond to the royal ghost, I was saving up elixir for that. Now I'm going to go sauce out the Valkyrie. And guys, he's going to go pump up again. Do we want to try to 3-crown him for the memes and just save the fire? Yeah, I guess we kind of have to, right? I guarantee you. I guarantee you he just goes for a golem in the back and gets 3-crowned. It's going to happen. I believe. I believe in miracles. It's going to happen. Oh, let's go. Let's do him dirty. Giant snowball. Going in for the big log of justice. And it rolls right through. And we don't even need it. I told you. I tell you these things, guys. I'm just a fortune teller. Alright, so we're gonna go in for a tombstone on defense and we're gonna see what he's up to. What is up, B? What you up Matt to, man? <laughs> that seems so awkward saying B. It's like baby girl. I don't know, man. That's what it reminds me of. So what do I wanna do? Do I wanna go in for a Royal Hogs? Oh wow, he's gonna go in for an Inferno Dragon. He's gonna have minions. Is this gonna be Lava Hound Loon or is this gonna be some funky like Mega Knight deck? It's gonna be either or. Royal Hogs opposite lane, so. He just zaps them and then has to cycle to Royal Ghost. So this is going to be Mega Knight for sure. You don't run Mega Knight and Inferno Dragon minions with Zap in a Lava Hound deck at all. There's no way. So Skeletons are going to be able to put in some work. And he's got a different deck than I expected, man. So I'm going to have to go in for a Tombstone to Kite. And he's going to give me some Fireball value if I really want to take it. But I'm totally not about it because I know that I'm going to shut everything down. Easy snag. Going to go in for... Flying Machine, because I can't eat those minion hits, otherwise it would have been a lot, actually. We actually came out ahead in the exchange. We got more tower damage in the left-hand lane, and also got some considerable tower damage in the right as well. He drops an Inferno Dragon pretty far away. I'm going to go in for Royal Hogs on defense. Obviously, they're going to get hit by the uh, the Royal Ghost. Royal, <laughs> Royal on Royal action, dude. Royal blood is spilled, but I think we're fine. I think we're thriving. Especially if I go in for a Valkyrie here, right on top of the Miner, and then the uh, tower targets the Inferno Dragon, I don't even have to respond to this. I would have had to respond to that with a giant Snowball, and that would have been a giant meme if I had to, but I don't have to go do that because the Inferno Dragon ended up dying. His zap was uh, pretty poorly timed. So I can go for my Goonie in the back just for cycling, and then I kind of want to go cycle logs and spells because I, I shouldn't have this really bad hand, and I haven't done a great job cycling so far because now I have like Tombstone. When you have Tombstone or this type of hand, you just know that you didn't do a good job cycling. So that's just one of those things that I'm not very happy with myself about. Now I'm going to go for Fireball. Should have Fireballed a little bit earlier. I'm going to be a little bit more capricious with my spells. 
I learned that I made some misplays by not doing that. We go for Valkyrie here. I'm going to, do I need to go for Mega Minion? No, we're thriving. We're fine. I need to throw like Giant Snowball a little bit more. So that's the thing that I haven't been doing, right? So we're going to go in for Giant Snowball here. Nobody drops anything. All right, we're going to go for Minions and right on top of everything. I think the Hog Rider gets extra hits or the Royal Hogs get way more hits. Yeah, that was so worth, man. So slight misplays. If you find yourself with three spells with this deck, always make sure you end up going for the Giant Snowball. Use it a little bit more capriciously, a little bit more haphazardly, especially when they can't break through you. Like I've identified that I would be able to defend everything, so I could translate my Elixir into offense and get some extra damage with the Giant Snowball. So we're going to go in for it again. Instead of Fireball, we're just going to slow everything down, slow down the tower, slow down the Inferno Dragon, and slow down the Royal Ghost. Then we just go in for the Log to finish off the W. GG, man, and well played, and good luck in the rest of your Grand Challenge session. Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out, Girl Scout. All right, so I'm going to go for Royal Hogs right at the river. He's going to go for a Princess. We cycle Tombstone passively, and he's probably going to have some type of bait deck. No, he's going to have Hog Rider cycle deck with basically his only log bait is either going to be Goblins or Princess, most likely, and he's definitely going to have Hog Rider with this. Yeah, so there's the Hog. I'm going to go drop Mega Minion. He's going to have Minions. I'm going to have to go sauce out the Valkyrie. Otherwise, oh, wow, he went in for the Freeze. This guy is so saucy today, isn't he? I'm going to have to go in for a uh, really nice snowball to bounce everything back, ensure that we don't take any damage. He's got the freeze. We got the snowball. All is good, man. All is good. So he's got Mini Pekka. Mini Pekka doesn't do so hot against Royal Hogs. Sure, you're going to end up killing them, but it's an individually like targeting unit. It doesn't really target them all at once. So I'm just going to go for Royal Hogs. He's going to go in for Goblins. So as I said before, I just guessed his deck right off the start. I saw his Princess. I saw Mini Pekka. I knew exactly what he was running. I'm glad that I found it out. Like, I'm glad that I wasn't completely off base. Feels good, man. So I'm going to go in for Mega Minion. I'm going to go in for Tombstone. I'm trying to drop the Tombstone a little bit further away from the Princess so I didn't go fully centered. I'm going to go Fly Machine off to the side and then just log the Princess as per usual. There's nothing else that I really want to log. It's a lot of damage for him, actually. Hmm. He's getting the upper hand of these trades. Maybe I want to play a little bit more passive, cycle a Valkyrie in the back and not really go guns blazing with Royal Hogs. <laughs> I love the stabby emotes, guys. I really like the good vibes that you guys are sending me. Oh, wow. He's going to rocket me. Chief Pat. <laughs> Dude, that is a huge elixir commitment that you just made on me, sir. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs. We're going to see if we can get some damage, actually, because you went for that. You really went hard in the paint on me, for sure. I'm going to go for Snowball, see if we can bounce everything back, get some extra damage by slowing everything down as well. Easy log value. Holy crap. We hit everything with that, don't we? We're waiting for the freeze, and now I'm going to go for the Valkyrie. He doesn't freeze. I don't have to. I was waiting. I was really waiting. You have to hover if you know that they have freeze. Otherwise, you can just get spanked. You don't want to drop units because if you overcommit on defense, then your offense is going to be significantly weaker. So you just have to hover units, and you have to wait. That's one of the biggest mistakes that I see in CR. Everyone wants to overcommit on defense. It's a huge bad play. Like This is like the number one misplay that I would say that's latent that most people don't actually recognize. It's something that's, uh, it really plagues society and it really plagues like, I don't know, the CR society. You just don't do it, man. Because every single time you drop units on defense, it's not really the most optimal offense. Sure, if I drop like Valkyrie and I drop Tombstone, I can defend against a Hog Rider 100%, guys. But guess what? I'd much rather have like Royal Hogs or a Hog Rider counter pushing behind my Valkyrie opposed to the Tombstone Skeletons. GG and well played, man. All right, so we're going to go in for Royal Hogs. He's going to go in for Skeletons and then log them. So is he running a Cycle deck? He most certainly is. Is this going to be Minor Poison Cycle? Probably. I'm going to go for a Tombstone on defense. His Electro Wizard is going to walk up and target my Skeletons. So what is he going to do here? What are you about, man? So you're going to go for a Minor. I'm going to go for a Valkyrie. Whew. You're probably going to have P.E.K.K.A. So as soon as you see minions with Minor and Electro Wizard, you can immediately assume P.E.K.K.A. Usually it's not like a Cycle deck. So I kind of want to go in for Flying Machine because most likely he will not end up having Fireball. He's probably going to have Poison. Flying Machine just sneaks right past his defenses, evades him masterfully. We get a lot of damage as a result. So I could log this. I think that's probably the best play. And I miss. Okay. This is why I don't play golf, man. All right. We're going to go in for Royal Hogs and we're going to see what we can make happen. We're going to actually bounce everything back. He goes in for a Tesla. So this should be a decent matchup for us. This shouldn't be too incredibly difficult. But I'm going to end up having to go in for Snowball on defense against those minions. Deny all tower hits from them. Obviously, he's going to go in for a Miner. I want to catch it with a Valkyrie. See if we can get some ceiling fan hits on the uh, defense to offense conversion right after. 
So cycling Valkyrie in the back is usually our best bet. He's probably going for a minor. Where's your minor at, bro? I really don't want to cycle Tombstone because it just gives him poison value. And it's just a passive card that does absolutely nothing. Obviously, if he starts poisoning like the flying machine, then I will go for a tombstone in the back and that will catch like miners and skeletons constantly like spawn. So that's usually a pretty good play. So hopefully he poisons this. Maybe he will. We go for a fireball to deny all hits. Okay, cool. So now he goes in for... I don't want to do it just yet, but yeah. You guys know what I mean, right? I'm going to go in for Royal Hogs. Oh yeah, he got damage with those minions. Unfortunate. Should have went in for Giant Snowball. It's okay though. Got a lot of damage there. So we're going to go for Tombstone. See if he wants to poison that. He probably will, right? So this is what I mean by Poison Bait, Fireball Bait. You can actually use the Tombstone as Fireball and Poison Bait. Especially against Graveyard. Because the skeletons that spawn from that, it always baits out a Poison. Then you can go in for a Flying Machine. It's really nice, actually. So he used this Poison on that. Actually not on anything that was useful. Now he's going to drop like Miner's pick in front or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for a Fireball. Right on top of the Valkyrie. Because I just want more damage. I actually bounce his Valkyrie like closer to our units. That was kind of bad. That was really bad actually. Can I take that back? Can I actually like just have a refund on that Fireball, my man? Wasn't good. Kind of a potato play. Falk will finish that off real quick. I'm gonna go for Flying Machine. Then I'm gonna go for Royal Hogs. So Flying Machine is super solid. Whenever they use their, uh, their big spell, I really like using it. I'm gonna go for another Fireball. And I think we're going to get a lot of damage as a result. We're going to push it back towards the right-hand side. I'm going to go for a log. I'm not going to miss it this time. I tell you, not missing it, guys. We missed it once. Never again. Never lucky, though. Okay, so he's going to go for minions. I'm going to go in for Valkyrie. He actually went in front yet again, my man. So I'm going to go for a snowball, bounce everything back, obliterate the minions, and then I just go for a fireball log because he is sitting pretty at 205. I don't think he's actually thinking it's a pretty sight, though. GG, well played. Log rolls in, and we collect the W. Peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we're playing against Jack GT. We're going to be saucing out the Mega Man in the back, and unfortunately, he goes in for a collector. So we have to fireball that immediately. And guys, we do not have our Royal Hog Riders anywhere in sight. I'm actually going to go for a Giant Snowball. Unfortunately, the Giant Snowball only denies one Elixir from the collector. Not something too solid, but guys, he, uh, we do okay. We do okay here. He ends up going in for, yeah, I guess we can go for Royal Hogs. I think I kind of want to. I want to make sure that he doesn't have his huge parade push on us. And I want to make sure that he drops units off his lane. So I think that's a decent maneuver. Do we just want to log that back and eat up the damage? Or do I want to go for Valkyrie? Okay, I gotta go for Valk. And then a low tombstone here. Last possible second to make sure that we preserve as much as possible. So I'm going to go for Mega Minion. I'm going to log that back. Otherwise, as you guys know, if you just let the Mega Minion thrive on top of the uh, top of him, you just lose them. I'm going to have to fireball the Mega Minion. No other play is acceptable here, and unfortunately, I know that uh, the Collector is going to be a nuisance after this. So this is not boating so well for us, guys. Definitely not boating so well. When he goes in for a Collector, I have to go in for Royal Hogs and Punish. So he's going to be up Elixir, and he's going to have a Collector that I can't punish. How are we ever going to come back, guys? Who knows? So we're going to go for Royal Hog. And fortunately, this tower, the healthier tower for us, is actually going to be something that we can kind of ignore. So, actually, we can't really ignore a 4 HP uh, Dark Prince, but if I just had Log, I would actually Log that and not really drop a Valkyrie, and then just ignore the annoying thing. Against Beatdown, it's always going to be a 1-1 one, one scenario, and if you're in a 1-1, one, one, well, if you're in a 1-1 one, one scenario, you're always going to lose, right? We're going to cycle an earlier Tombstone, try to cycle two of them on this uh, Golem player. Hopefully this can work out for us. I'm going to go for Mega Man in the back. He's going to go for Wizard. He's going to give me Fireball value, which I'm totally about, dude. You're going to allow me to deny a lot of Elixir from that Collector and also just get a supreme amount of value on you there, too. I'm going to go Log to make sure that my Mega Minion doesn't get finessed. I'm going to go in for two Tombstones, as per usual. That is always the play. I'm going to go for a Valkyrie to make sure that the Dark Prince doesn't have its way with us. And the dual Tombstone, guys, is actually straight finessing right now. I'm going to go for a Fireball to make sure that we can kill the Wizard. And the defense was actually pretty solid. It was okay. It was kind of mediocre at best, but we still made it work. I'm going to end up going in for another set of Royal Hogs, and I think we will end up taking the left-hand tower. Despite the really sketchy start, we actually finagled our way back in the game and bounced right through. So I'm going to go and cycle a whole bunch of units off to the side. Notice where I placed that. If he had poison, he wouldn't be able to hit the fly machine plus the tombstone. So that's another placement. If you guys ever play against a poison player, always make sure that you do that placement, opposed to the placement that I did earlier that was a little bit lower. GG, well played, and good luck, Jack.